Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I want to show you some of the changes that we've made to custom fields in GiftWorks 2011. I want to start by signing into GiftWorks and going to the settings area and clicking on customize. And then I'm going to click on manage donor custom fields. Now the changes that we've made to custom fields apply equally both to donor custom fields and to donation custom fields. But for the sake of this video, I'm simply going to show you the changes that we've made in the context of donor custom fields. So I click on Manage Donor Custom Fields and I can click on Add a New Field. And there's two new things that I want to point out. The first of all are the new types of custom fields that we've added. You notice down here in the list of different types of custom fields, you'll notice two brand new ones. The first one is a custom field that stores number values. The second one is a custom field that stores currency values. And we added these two new types so that you can more specifically define the type of information that you want to store in these custom fields for both your donors and your donations. The second change you may notice here is for GiftWorks standard users, we've increased the number of custom fields for the other types as well. Um, for list drop-down values, we've increased the number from six to eight custom fields. For dates, we've increased it from two to four. And for other types like text boxes and check boxes, we've increased it from four to six. And then for number values, we provide you five um, custom fields, five numeric type custom fields, and five custom fields that can store a currency value. For GiftWorks premium, value, uh, premium those, th those numbers increase. You'll notice in my database, I've created both a number and a currency custom field, one called this is a number, one called this is currency. And we're going to jump over to a donor to see how we can use them. I'm going to right click on Steve and scroll down to the bottom. And we'll look at his custom fields. I have this as a number custom fields where I can enter a number. And I can only enter a number. It's not letting me enter any kind of other text. Um, but I can enter a two uh, decimal place number, and then I can provide a, a custom uh, a currency value. Once I do that, I can click on Save. The great part about those is not necessarily that I can store those values there, but how I can use them in the rest of GiftWorks as well. The first is under Smart Lists. Uh, if I create a new Smart List, I can search for donors or donations based on their custom field information, but in the past where all you could do is store numbers in a text field. Now, because GiftWorks knows that those are numbers and currency, I can then go ahead and create more specific smart lists using less than, greater than, or, be, or ranges that, properly, uh, that can properly create a smart list based on the fact that it's a number. So we provide you not only that, uh, that ability to do better uh, smart lists, but if we go over to mailings and in the letter library, I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to edit a letter. And if you're familiar with smart fields, smart fields use, can use different values to create either a calculated mailing field, which would do something like taking an existing field and adding a value to it, or a conditional field, which simply evaluates a condition that says, if this is true, then I want you to put this in my letter, or if this is true, put this in my letter. And now you can use those custom fields um, in the context of smart fields. So you can take a number that you've stored in your custom field, and now add or subtract or multiply and divide another value to that. Um, you can use the same thing not only for calculated custom fields, calculated smart fields, but also conditional um, smart fields as well. So th those custom fields, the numeric and currency type custom fields, will um, make your mailings more powerful as well. So not only will they help you in your smart lists, not only will they help you in your mailings, but they're also going to help you in your reporting. If I go over to reports and I view the donors by smart list report, because GiftWorks is aware, if I scroll over to the right, this on this report I've added uh, both the currency and the numeric custom field. Because GiftWorks is aware that this is a currency value and that this is a number, it can properly go ahead and total these values for you in the context of this report. So custom fields not only can help you store more specific kind of information in your donors or your donation, but then you can also use it in the context of your smart list to do better smart list, mailings to do more powerful mailings, and reporting to do better analysis and understanding of your donor information. And those types of custom fields, not only the types, um, but also the increased number of custom fields that we, we're providing you in GiftWorks 2011, we hope can be beneficial to you and your organization. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Be on the lookout for other videos that show you some of the new features in GiftWorks 2011. Thanks for watching.